Hey guys, it's me. I'm somewhat known by Jeff, but if you want to call me the werewolf, or maybe the gray werewolf, or something in Latin that sounds really cool, that's okay. I'm just messing around. Jeff's, Jeff is just fine, but it is me. I have an iPhone, iPhone 6, that's my current phone, and I'm always trying to figure out the whole global trading stocks thing, global trading stocks, um, ouch, ow, you know what, second thought, F that. I was going through some of my notes here going through some of my notes and I wrote down to go to uh, mortuary school mortuary school I thought that would be something to do I remember talking to my parents about mortuary school both of my parents my so-called mom and then my dad neither one was very interested both of them kind of circle the wagon so to speak they don't they're not interested in anything that's actually helpful or could probably improve your life pathetic but yes I did want to go to mortuary school because I thought that would be interesting I thought perhaps it would hold my attention I guess um, because it's mortuary school um, I thought that would be an interesting experience perhaps I guess learn something um, from my understanding that's what people do you know they're born they live in the world and they do something everyone does something well some people like to circle the wagon so to speak because they need to pay for all their crap all their retail stores all their capitalistic crap so they need people to somewhat not be successful at a particular field so they have cashiers, people mopping floors, people cleaning windows, so on and so forth, working those sort of jobs, you know. So they don't really want you to go to mortuary school. They don't really care if you learn the piano. They basically just want people behind cashiers taking people's money, their monetary. It's actually pretty pathetic. It's stupid. And it is dishonorable and should be embarrassing. If you're above the age 30, I never, I don't have a diploma or a degree or a career in something. Well, someone took a crap in your shopping cart, so to speak. And you may want to figure out who it is off that person. Kind of give your, give, give the world a nice toilet flush or an enema, so to speak. I have a lot of my stuff written down on paper as far as regarding that sort of thing. But I don't like to think about it too much because it does put me in a bad mood. And if you spend too much time in a bad mood, you're not going to be the healthiest. Your well-being is probably not going to be the most on point. So I don't really like to talk about what I, what I call e-critters or i-turds or the people behind technology, capitalism, uh, moo, cow, those type of people. Honestly, it's best just to maybe fill an old whiskey, empty whiskey jar, fill it with something flammable, maybe like some paint thinner or something, smash it over their face, set it on fire, and boot party or uh, uh, kick them to sleep where they're no longer conscious to the point of death. That would probably be a responsible thing to do, ethical, mature, wise, and a smart decision. But I'm not going to get into that right now because I don't, I don't really want to be in a bad mood. But I will see what's on the radio right now. It's just the
I'm not good at dancing, so if I if I start to dance, if it makes you uncomfortable or makes you feel dishonored or embarrassed, I do apologize. Because my dance skills, I will admit, are not on point. But basically, sometimes I like to make myself feel good. So I do move around a little bit and try to get into a good uh, demeanor or a good vibe.